Welcome everybody to today's Triple P topic, Parenting During COVID-19. Parents and caregivers play a central role in how children and teens will experience a challenging situation like COVID-19. This means the more you can do as a parent or caregiver to focus on the positive, take care of yourself and your needs and put your family first, the more likely you are to build your child's resilience and that your whole family will thrive during this time. With this in mind, we'd like to share one of 10 positive parenting strategies developed by Dr. Matt Sanders, who's the founder of Triple P International, and psychologist, Dr. Vanessa Cobham, who is an expert in helping families manage well during and after disasters. COVID-19 represents a challenge to families around the world that's unlike anything that we've ever experienced. Most people when confronted with a highly stressful situation like this have a basic concern for the welfare and safety of their children. To care for children effectively, first parents must really look after it themselves. As parents, we can be feeling a range of uncomfortable emotions like anxiety, anger, or sadness, as well as uncertainty about what to do and how to cope. These feelings are normal and they're expected at a time like this. It's important for us to remember and to remind our children that our communities are working to keep people safe. My name is Emily Harriet, and today I want to talk about an important strategy, and that is reassuring your child that your family is your top priority. In all conversations with your child, stay as calm and comforting as possible. Let your child know that they should tell you if they're feeling sick in any way and demonstrate through both your actions and your words that is part of your that is part of your job as their parent to do everything they can to keep you safe and that that's exactly what you're doing. You might literally say to them, I'm your parent. It's my job to keep you safe and we are doing everything we can. Statements like this help kids feel safer, and for older children, it will help them understand why you must observe restrictions that are being placed on all families. Things like not being able to go to parks or not being able to spend time with people outside of your family. Think about what you can do to remain calm as you talk to your child about COVID-19. What can you do to reduce your anxiety if you're feeling any? It's also helpful to think about when and where you will talk to your children about what's happening. One family I know has agreed that they're only gonna talk about COVID-19 after lunch when they all go on a walk together. At that time, kids can ask any questions that they have and parents will do their best to answer the questions. Taking an idea like this and using it in your family could be particularly helpful if you have kids who are wanting to talk about COVID-19 all the time or are experiencing a lot of anxiety. If you would like additional parenting support after watching this brief video, please like us on Facebook to get regular parenting tips, or you could join us on Thursdays. We have a Zoom parent support group. To do that, you just email us at info at triplepelcartcounty.org and we'll send you our Zoom link. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have lots of short and longer webinars that you can watch from the comfort of your own home uh, when it suits you. And finally, if you just want to talk to a human being, you can call our phone line at 574-226-0160. The person who answers will ask you a couple questions to get a sense of the kind of support that you're needing, and then they'll uh, connect you to available resources here in Elkhart County. Please look for our upcoming brief videos that we'll be putting out about the other nine parenting strategies that could be really helpful during this time of COVID-19. Thank you.